Have you ever thought about the fish you eat? Are you aware of the dangers some fish pose to your health? In this video, we will reveal the 12 types of fish that you should avoid eating at all costs. You may be surprised to find out that some of the fish you thought were healthy can actually harm you, so get ready to learn and be shocked. But beware, this information may leave you questioning the safety of the fish you consume. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's start the countdown with number 12, tile fish. Tile fish is an amazing tasting and nutritious type of saltwater fish. It is wise to be aware of any potential health risks when eating this type of fish. A 2019 study published in Environmental Research revealed that the consumption of seafood containing high levels of mercury, such as tile fish, was linked to an elevated risk of cardiovascular disease. Data from over 1,400 participants suggested that those who consumed the most mercury had a 60% higher risk of developing the condition than those who ate the least. A separate study conducted in 2020 published in Environmental Pollution discovered that tile fish had the highest levels of mercury among all of the fish species from the Gulf of Mexico. Additionally, some tile fish samples were found to have mercury levels that surpassed the safety standards set by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Furthermore, it was suggested that consuming tile fish and other fish with high mercury levels could raise the risk of neurological problems in the babies of these women. It is thus important to be mindful of the mercury levels in different fish and to consume a selection of seafood to get the most benefit while reducing the risks. Pregnant women, nursing mothers and children should stay away from tile fish due to the possible adverse effects of mercury. Next, number 11, swordfish. Swordfish is widely eaten, but it is important to be aware that it contains high levels of mercury, a toxic metal that can accumulate in the body and have a harmful effect on the nervous system, especially in young children and pregnant women. In 2018, research published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials found that swordfish had some of the highest levels of mercury among all of the fish tested. It was recommended that pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children should not consume swordfish. In 2019, a study conducted by the University of Michigan discovered that children with higher levels of mercury in their blood were more likely to show signs of ADHD. The study looked at data from over 3,000 children and observed that those with higher amounts of mercury had more severe symptoms. In 2020, a study published in the Environmental Health Perspectives Journal revealed that an increased prenatal mercury exposure due to fish consumption could lead to a higher risk of autism spectrum disorder in children. The research included data from more than 1,400 mother child pairs and showed that those exposed to higher doses of mercury in the womb had a greater chance of developing ASD. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the high mercury levels in swordfish when deciding what seafood to eat. Pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children should avoid eating swordfish and opt for lower mercury fish instead. Next, number 10, king mackerel. The consumption of king mackerel is popular for its nutritional benefits, but one should be aware that it contains a relatively high amount of mercury, which can be detrimental to human health. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials examined the mercury levels of various types of fish, including king mackerel. It was found that the average concentration of mercury in king mackerel was 0.730 mg per kilogram, much higher than the safe limit of 0.3 mg per kilogram set by the World Health Organization. A subsequent research published in Environmental Research in 2020 investigated the dietary habits of pregnant women and their mercury exposure. The analysis showed that consuming king mackerel and other high mercury fish was correlated with higher levels of mercury in the blood of the pregnant women. The study also found that excessive mercury exposure was linked to adverse effects on fetal growth and development. It is essential to be aware of the high mercury content in king mackerel when considering the nutritional benefits it can offer. Women who are expecting a baby, those who are breastfeeding, and kids should avoid consuming king mackerel and other fish that have high mercury levels. We can benefit from the health advantages of eating fish without risking our well-being if we make sensible decisions about our seafood intake. Next, number 9, shark. Sharks are widely consumed as a delicacy in multiple countries all over the world. 
but it is essential to recognize that shark meat has a high mercury content as well as other pollutants that can be detrimental to one's health. A study in 2018, which was published in the Environmental Science and Pollution Research Journal, measured the mercury and other contaminants in various types of fish, including sharks. The research revealed that shark meat carried the highest levels of mercury, which is a hazardous neurotoxin capable of causing severe health issues if consumed. Additionally, the study showed that shark meat also had high levels of polychlorinated biphenyls linked to cancer and other health risks. In 2019, a marine pollution bulletin study tested samples of shark meat from different areas of the globe for mercury and other contaminants. The results displayed that shark meat from the Atlantic Ocean had the highest levels of mercury and contaminants, possibly leading to serious health risks for those consuming it. The Pacific Ocean's shark meat had more moderate amounts, but still contained hazardous levels of mercury and other pollutants. Additionally, a 2020 environmental research study discovered that those who ate shark meat regularly had a greater chance of developing neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. After surveying over 5,000 adults, the researchers observed heightened levels of the protein beta amyloid in those that ate shark meat on a regular basis, which is linked to these diseases. Ultimately, it is essential to be mindful of the possible health risks linked with eating shark meat as it is a delicacy in certain parts of the world. If you do opt to eat shark meat, it is advisable to do so in moderation and purchase shark from less contaminated bodies of water. Next, number eight, tuna. Tuna is a popular fish that is often consumed in sushi and other dishes. However, some types of tuna such as big eye and ahai tuna, are high in mercury. A 2018 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition concluded that eating tuna may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease after evaluating the diets of more than 40,000 men and women in Japan. Those who consumed three or more servings of fish per week, including tuna, had a 19% lower risk of heart disease compared to those with less than one serving per week. On the other hand, a 2019 study published in Environmental Research suggested that high levels of mercury in tuna could possibly increase the risk of developing autoimmune diseases. The study examined the hair samples of over 100 people with autoimmune diseases and found that those with the highest levels of mercury in their hair had a greater likelihood of having autoimmune diseases such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. Research published in Scientific Reports in 2020 showed that some species of tuna may contain higher amounts of mercury than others. The study, conducted on tuna caught off the Hawaiian coast, found that big eye and yellowfin tuna had higher levels of mercury than skipjack tuna. It is advised to be aware of the potential risks associated with these species of tuna, particularly for pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children. It might be best to opt for lower, Mercury options such as skipjack tuna or to limit consumption of higher mercury tuna to no more than one serving per week. Next, number seven, Atlantic salmon. Salmon is usually considered beneficial due to its rich omega-3 fatty acids content, but some farmed varieties may have elevated levels of polychlorinated biphenyls and other pollutants. A research published in Science revealed that farmed salmon may contain up to 10 times more PCBs than wild salmon, which are linked to cancer, immune system issues, developmental issues in children, and other adverse effects. A more recent study published in Environmental Research in 2018 concluded that consuming high polychlorinated biphenyls farmed salmon may considerably raise the threat of type 2 diabetes as it was determined that people who consumed the most farmed salmon had a 34% higher chance of encountering this disorder than those who weight the least. A 2019 study in the science of the total environment compared the levels of pollutants in farmed and wild salmon from different areas. The results showed that farmed salmon had higher amounts of pollutants such as PCBs, dioxins, and pesticides than wild salmon. Therefore, although salmon is generally a healthy food, it is important to be aware of the potential health risks that farmed salmon may bring. If you choose to eat farmed salmon, make sure it is from a trustworthy source that follows strict environmental and sustainability regulations.
Next, number six, imported catfish. Let's discuss the potential dangers of consuming imported catfish. The United States Department of Agriculture reports that imported catfish, especially from Asia, can contain drugs and chemicals that are not approved for use in the United States. By consuming imported catfish, one may be exposed to hazardous toxins. Furthermore, research has found that imported catfish may contain high levels of contaminants like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are chemicals that are produced during the incomplete burning of coal, oil, gas, and other materials and have been linked to cancer and other health issues. In 2019, a study in the journal Chemisphere looked into the levels of PHS in imported catfish from Asia. The samples tested were found to contain high concentrations of PAH, which can lead to cancer and other health issues. The study warned that consuming imported catfish from Asia may put consumers at risk of harmful levels of PAH. In 2020, a study published in the Journal of Aquatic Food Product Technology revealed that samples of imported Chinese catfish contained elevated amounts of heavy metals, including mercury and lead. It is possible that consuming these fish may cause health problems, so it is important to be aware of the dangers and to choose seafood wisely in order to safeguard your health. Next, number five, farmed eel. Apart from the dangers associated with eating farmed salmon, farmed eel is also an issue of concern. Just as with farmed salmon, farmed eel can contain elevated levels of PCBs and other toxins, as found in a Science of the Total Environment study, which noted that farmed eel may have up to 10 times more PCBs than wild eel. In 2019, a research paper published in Aquaculture reviewed the fatty acid composition of farmed and wild eel. It was discovered that farmed eel contained a greater amount of saturated fatty acids and less polyunsaturated fatty acids compared to wild eel. This can be hazardous to human health, such as increasing the chance of developing heart disease. In 2020, a study published in the Food and Chemical Toxicology Journal looked at the amount of pollutants in farmed eel from different parts of Europe. The research showed that the levels of pollutants in some farmed eel exceeded the recommended limits for human consumption. The levels of pollutants varied based on the farming techniques used. As a result, farmed eel, like farmed salmon, may contain high levels of PCBs and other toxins. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the potential risks associated with eating farmed eel and to opt for wild-caught eel or other seafood options that are lower in contaminants. Next, number four, shark. It is important to remember that different sharks pose different health risks. For instance, the dogfish shark, which is eaten in certain places, has been linked to a greater probability of liver problems. In 2017, a research paper published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials showed that dogfish shark meat had high amounts of heavy metals like mercury, lead, and cadmium that surpassed the European Union's limits. Additionally, a 2019 study published in the journal Marine Drugs detected that dogfish shark liver oil contained high levels of squalene, which is frequently advertised as a health supplement. Yet the study concluded that consuming high levels of squalene may increase the risk of liver disease. In 2021, research published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials revealed that dogfish shark meat contained higher than acceptable levels of methylmercury, which exceeded World Health Organization standards. Therefore, Eating shark meat has the possibility of providing protein and other nutrients, but the potential health risks of eating certain types of sharks such as dogfish should be taken into consideration. These risks include ingestion of toxic metals and other contaminants, as well as the possibility of liver disease. If eating shark is desired, it is important to choose a species with a safety record and to prepare it in a way that reduces any potential contamination. Next. Number three, skates and rays. Skates and rays are a type of seafood that are renowned for their nutritional benefits. However, they are also known to come with a risk as they contain high levels of mercury, which can be detrimental to human health. A study conducted in 2018 by the University of Queensland in Australia determined that skates and rays contained some of the highest levels of mercury among all fish species. Out of the 130 species of fish analyzed, the mercury levels in skates and rays 
were almost five times higher than the levels deemed safe for human consumption. In 2021, research was conducted to measure the amount of heavy metals, including mercury, in skates and rays taken from the Atlantic Ocean. It was found that the mercury levels in these fish were beyond the safe levels for human consumption, particularly for older and larger fish. Therefore, it is essential to restrict the consumption of skates and rays and opt for other low mercury options like salmon or sardines for a healthy diet. Next, number two, tilapia. Tilapia farming is a popular and economical way to get fish, but there are worries about its safety and health impacts. Research has shown that it can contain dangerous contaminants like PCBs and dioxins, which could be dangerous if eaten in large amounts. Additionally, the use of antibiotics and other drugs in tilapia farming can cause antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which can be hazardous to humans. In 2017, the journal Chemisphere examined the contamination levels of Chinese farm tilapia and discovered that the fish contained a high amount of PCBs and dioxins, surpassing the European Union's safety regulations. Further, 2018 research published in the journal Aquaculture Nutrition found evidence of antibiotic residue in Egyptian farm tilapia, including some that are not authorized to be used in food-producing animals. In 2019, a research was published in the journal Environmental Science and Pollution Research that looked into the amount of antibiotics present in farm tilapia. The results showed that the fish had high levels of antibiotics, which could create bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. Therefore, while farm tilapia is a cheap and commonly used fish, there are worries about its safety and health effects. This includes contaminants like PCBs and dioxins, as well as traces of antibiotics and other medications. To be safe, it is best to consume fish in moderation and prioritize wild-caught options if possible. Next, number one, American eel. Let's discuss American eel, a much-loved seafood. However, it is important to remember that, like other eel varieties, American eel may contain contaminants like PCBs and dioxins. In 2018, a Chemisphere report explored the levels of contaminants in American eel from multiple areas of the U.S., it showed that eels from urban areas had greater levels of contaminants than those from rural locations, and that consuming eel from contaminated areas could be risky for human health. A 2019 Environmental Science and Pollution Research Report studied the levels of heavy metals in American eel from the River Thames in the UK. The study revealed that the eels had high concentrations of lead and cadmium which can cause harm. Therefore, it is essential to be aware of the potential health hazards of consuming American eel, as with other varieties of eel, as they may contain high concentrations of contaminants. To avoid any risks, it is recommended to only consume eel from sources that are uncontaminated and clean. And there you have it, folks. The 12 types of fish you should avoid eating. It's crucial to be aware of the fish you consume to ensure your health and well-being. Don't let your love for seafood harm you. Stay safe and informed. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you in the next video.